All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, I want to let you guys know right now, I will not be leaving current gen behind. I'm going to be dropping news, videos, tutorials, everything for current gen as well as next gen just because i know that a lot of people aren't going to be able to get the next gen consoles just because of the availability of them so because of that don't worry i'm not going to just leave next gen to the wayside i still got my xbox still gonna have my playstation i'm just gonna have to make room for more you know for more stuff man to get myself a bigger hdmi splitter i suppose man actually i got four joints on my hdmi splitter so we already next gen ready so don't worry about that we're gonna be the best 2k youtuber on four consoles man the best center on four consoles i can see it now anyway look so if you subscribe for more daily 2k content make sure you do that like the video we got some information for y'all today it's a mixed bag it's gonna be some uh, next gen information as well as some current gen information like i said i'm dedicated to helping you guys out so hit that like button and i'll be back with y'all right after this Nino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that habit. All right, so like I said, man, being ever dedicated to helping you guys out. Like I said, we got a mixture. It's next gen, current gen, next gen. That's how we gonna go with this stuff today, man. Uh, like I said, I know that not everybody's gonna be able to get the next gen consoles. I'm having trouble getting mine myself. I've got an Xbox uh, already already secured, but I, I have to get an Xbox ready for day one. So I'm probably gonna have to go and try to get hit a Costco up or something like that and buy another Xbox uh, and then probably sell my one that I get uh, a couple of days later so i probably have to do that and then i'm gonna have to try to get the playstation 2 by on on thursday or friday now i already got a plug on the xboxes i think um check out my twitter and follow it up because i'll be able to let y'all know what they're gonna tell me i had to wait to 10 o'clock uh in order to call some of these places so it, it maybe it'll be similar in your area but anyway man let's just get right into it man current gen information i mean next gen information and look nba 2k insider says ronnie said on stream affiliations will not give certain attribute boot boost and that's something that i'm just glad that they did man because i know the attribute boost are cool and that we're used to having the affiliation uh joint in the same way that we normally have but i'm glad that they did it because i just don't want that much division in these joints man i want people to be able to play against each other and i'm doing a video on that this evening hopefully i can get all city live tv in on it but i feel like the way that they're doing this affiliation thing is just a tad wrong it's good but I think it's just a, a skosh wrong just because it's almost like we're being set up for failure. Like, I'll, I'll give y'all a quick example. Why do you get less rep for playing against other affiliations on their courts? I would think if I'm going to somebody's uh, hometown and playing them, that it would be worth more for me to do that. But we'll figure i got some other some other reasons that i think that it might be the way that it is too man so you know it, it is what it is i just think that that encourages separation more than it does you know having people to play with each other that's all i feel about that but well, i got a whole video going on about that hopefully i can get all city with that um i just feel like affiliations you need to encourage them to play against each other as much as humanly possible especially when we don't know how many people we're going to be able to have on these joints but uh like i said i digress uh up next man we got nba 2k labs and they are giving uh they they got two videos for you guys man they have the catch and shoot full badge details like how 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 catch and shoot works how well it works how well uh you know in what situation it works in how to use it how it raises your your um ability to shoot and all of that and they also have they also got a um they got a video on the best badge combinations uh for every shooting level so they did everything from from the highest shooting level all the way down to to the lowest shooting level and show how many you can hit now the numbers are going to be a little bit skewed just because of the fact that they're shooting you know they're shooting with um with the mod or what have you so if you got a mod you you'll be able to hit like they're hitting and hit some of these numbers that they're hitting but if you don't then and we know it ain't many of y'all like that it don't get it ain't seeing up we know y'all seeing up out there don't act like y'all no, i'm just joking but um you know like like the average person may not be able to hit these type of percentages that they're hitting and that's what they want you to know in the video but more or less they're just saying that that there are certain badge combinations and certain 
ratings that let you hit 100% if you time it right. And then you got you got other ones that you know you can hit in the 60s and all that good stuff with perfect timing. So that's that. And last but not least, your boy Ron Jesus back at it again, man. He put out a preview um, of some of these uh, bills that they got. And he says, if y'all get this to 100 likes, Y'all get this to 100 likes, I'll include uh, these in my video. And uh, he already got the 100 likes, so he probably already has a YouTube video up on it. But Playmaking Paint Beast, what? Shades of Dennis Rodman, John Collins, our John Collins, and Demodis uh, Sabonis. Y'all don't even remember when Demodis Sabonis' father was considered the best player in the world, like the most dangerous man on the planet when it comes to basketball, man. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Oh, yeah, get that. What, what's that? Yeah, that's what you got to say to that uh, with that block right there, Gambit. And then last but not least, uh, facilitating three-level two-way. Ooh, shades of lateral spree well. Chris Middleton and Gordon Hayward. Ooh, when did lateral spree? I know it's Latrell. Come on, man. First of all, when was Latrell's lateral was lateral a three-way score? I thought he was a person that couldn't do nothing but use his right hand and go to the rim. And when was he a two-way lateral play defense? The only defense I remember him playing was on PJ Carlissimo when he told that man, please back up off of me. You're too close. Please back up off of me. Yeah. You gotta back up off me. Back up off me. Yeah. Hey, that's all I That's the only defense I remember lateral ever playing. But hey, I could be wrong. Three way, three level score. Did lateral ever shoot the ball? All I ever remember Spreewell doing was, was size up, boom, gone to the rim. Bam. He either dunking, dunking on somebody. He may pull up for that little midi, but. Hey, it is what it is. But like I said, yo, they, they, I don't make the rules. I just, uh, I just, I just do the stuff. And uh, you know, that's all I really got for y'all this morning, man. Y'all, let me know. Did y'all remember Spreewell playing defense? Ever? I thought that when they got him, Allen Houston, uh, when they had the first big three, in um, in, in, I thought that was the biggest part of the problem that nobody was playing defense or something like that, bro. I, I mean, I could be wrong. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, like Allen Houston. Wasn't playing no D. Spreewell wasn't playing no D. And I, I forgot, uh, you know, it, it is what it is, man. Um, I, I just don't see it. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't see it, man. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think of, think uh down in the comment section, man. Um, I think who was that? Was it Marbury? I wanna say it was Marbury, Spreewell, and uh and uh, Allen Houston, and I know none of them played no defense if that was the original big three. My mind is slipping me. Y'all got to remember, man, I don't forgot more basketball than most of y'all have seen, and I'm old as hell, too. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Um, is it a is it a mistake? I'm, I'm glad that we got affiliations right, and, and I'm glad that affiliations have no, no boost because I think that would further segregate people because some people feel like, like T was like, I'm going wherever the shooting boost is. I was like, I'm going where Shakedown is. So you see what I'm saying? Like we probably wouldn't even be able to play together in a situation like that. And uh, you know, are they gonna let affiliations play with each other like 2K17? Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Uh, don't forget to like the video and uh, I'm out of here till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.